So this question is a diagram question. So I know that because of the table that's provided here. So more specifically, this is a table question. So anytime a table is provided in a question, what you can pretty much bet on is that you're going to need to use right, some data directly from the table in order to answer the question. Right, so I kind of box this 2 and 25 fourths because whenever I'm going to use data, I want to stay small, right? So here, x is 2. Now, I could go smaller here with x equals 1, but there's another rule that I like to follow, which is never use negative 1, 0, or positive 1 whenever I'm, like, plugging in information. So the question says, which of the following equations relates y to x for the values in the table above? So pretty straightforward, basically asking which of these equations matches the information in the table. So we're going to definitely use kind of a plug in info from question strategy. And I'm going to use the x equals 2, y equals 25 fourths in order to test my answer choices. So choice A would say that instead of y equals 1 half, I'm going to say 25 over 4 is equal to 1 half times parentheses 5 over 2 to the, instead of x power, to the second power. Now when I simplify this, this becomes 5 over 2 to the second power is 5 squared, which is 25, over 2 squared, which is 4. And then I still have 1 half times this. So if you think about it, right, it's pretty impossible that this is equal. So this is not equal to each other. Um, so A is gone. Now when I try choice B, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Instead of Y equals, I'm going to say 25 over 4 is equal to 2 times 3 over 4 to the second power. Once again, I'm going to simplify that. 3 over 4 to the second power is 3 squared, which is 9 over 4 squared, which is 16. I'm multiplying this by 2. I'm going to call it 2 over 1. That ends up being uh, 18 over 16. And even when I simplify that and reduce it by 2, that becomes 9 over 8. And again, 25 over 4 does not equal 9 over 8. So now B is gone. Trying choice C, we have, again, Y equals, but of course, I'm replacing that with 25 fourths is equal to 3 fourths times x, which is times 2, I'll call it 2 over 1, and then plus 2. So let's simplify this. So to multiply these guys together, we just multiply directly across. So I'd have 6 over 4 plus, I'm going to call this 2 over 1. Whenever I'm adding fractions, I have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom here by 4 leaving this to be 6 over 4 plus 8 over 4, which is equal to um, 14 over 4. And again, 25 over 4 does not equal 14 over 4. So C is gone. So D hopefully is the right answer. Otherwise, we made a math error on one of these and have to go back and check it out. But let's try D and see what happens. So D would be 25 over 4 equals 7 over 2 times, again, I'm going to call it 2 over 1, minus 3 over 4. So again, multiplying straight across, I'd have 14 over 2 minus 3 over 4. I want to have a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. And I'd have, therefore, 2 times 14 is 28 over 4 minus 3 over 4, and this is equal to... 25 over 4. And this is actually true, right? Because 28 minus 3 is 25. The 4s remain the same. So now this is a true statement. So choice D is the best answer to this question.